Hey, welcome. This is Unify 1.4. Welcome. So glad to see you. I have some cool stuff to show. I'm going to do this really fast. This is a preview to tell you it's out. Check this out. We have a new mode called Live Solo. Let's change layers. I'm using a controller, a little Korg Nano Control 2. I'm gonna just hit that off, hit the R button for layer three, three is on. And it doesn't cancel any of the previous notes or effects. It's so cool. Love it, love it, love it. So we go to the bridge. change in real time it's so cool we use this in a couple of different ways um my name is john skippy limb cool welcome for those of you guys doing live but check this out i'm going to turn off all the layers except one which is the piano and then on the screen i've got eight layers one is acoustic two is electric three is a guitar four is an organ so if i turn on the organ Control the volume. Then we change from piano to just electric piano. I want a pad. And remember, every one of these layers you are seeing could be any plugin that you own. It's not, right now I'm just using the sounds in Unify. That's why we built Unify the way it is. So it comes with content, right? It's ready to go. And I wanna add the organ and the guitar and the voices and the other pad for the, Just go to guitar. So you can change and do live soloing of parts, which is wonderful. So let me give you, this is the short video. I wanna come back and we'll do separate videos on all these abilities to like flush it out so you understand more about it. This updater is free if you own Unify. If you download it, you will unzip it and you'll have the updater if this is your first time to install Unify, you'll download what's called the install version, not the update version. You'll open this up, whichever version you own, you double click to install either the EXE of the installer or of the PKG on the Mac. That will go through the process. Make sure Unify is quit, so it's not running, no plugins are running, no DAWs running, quit all that stuff just to be safe. Double click, this will update Unify standalone as well as all the plugins. Plus, it includes the AAX. We got it working, so it comes with AAX support, which is awesome. Um, we have super happy Pro Tools customers loading in all their VST, VST3, and on the Mac, uh, audio unit plugins into their sessions, saving their songs with whatever setups and patches using all of their plugins that are in the non-Pro Tools world. They have access to them now inside of Pro Tools, so... Yay for that. So after you run the updater, run the standalone version of Unify, probably the safest, and then go to the unifyupdate.guru or install for the full installer if it's your first time to install Unify. And in, when you're first time installing it, it steps you through the process and so forth. Drag over the interface, it will say install Unify content, say okay, uh, and it's there. And then you can close this, you can delete the installers, you don't need those anymore because content's been placed where it needs to go. Unify standard library is the full 570 patches. To make sure that you've installed this update, click the tags up here. This is where you have for choosing by categories and so forth. And choose 1.4 and it will just list the 32 patches that I made for 
and they show off all the new abilities. We now have an LFO that can be synced to clock, which is wonderful. Yeah. So I can turn off these layers. So you can hear. We also have two effects that have been added that are incredibly cool. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is one, let's open this up just a little bit wider, is called Chow Tape Model. And this is made by Jayton Chowdhury, I believe is how I say his name. He gave us permission to include two of his free effects that you can download and install on your computer for your DAW. They are now part of the Unify ecosystem, so I could use them for patches, and they're wonderful. This simulates tape, like physical modeled equations to describe what is happening. And you have balance. This is what it sounds like without the plugin. Quite different. And we use it in all sorts of stuff. If you go down the list of the pianos, the old type Intimate Grand, It works really great with the old tape patches. So reload that chill patch. And then you go over here to the knobs. There's actually a knob for the mix. Put it back to regular piano. And again, this is all patches built into Unify. If I didn't want to use this piano, I could go call up Ivory. I could call it Keyscape. I could call it my favorite piano instead of the Guru Sampler version. The BPM LFOs are fun. All sorts of rhythmic stuff going on. These are fun to study. The unison patch. Of course, you need to have like a big four on the floor for that to really be effective, but You have control, pitch, so you have real-time controls if you want to automate it. So there's 32 patches to play with. I'll leave it to you guys to explore all of those. Um, but let me show you one other effect that is added that is super, 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 super cool. Maybe the coolest delay effect I have ever seen and played with. Let's go to Leeds, Canyon Flute. Listen to this. How many taps of delay do you think that is? What if I told you it's 17 taps? What would it look like? What do you think it would look like? How would you describe 17 taps that are different locations doing different things? Well, welcome to the matrix. <laughs> I have it kind of spread out right now to show you. 17 taps. And it has the coolest delay interface I have ever played with. Um, each tap has pan. Uh, there's even pitch. For each of the 17 taps can be different tunings up and down. How's that for weird? You've got low pass filters, high pass filters. Um, and then what's crazy is the insanity slider will. And then what's really cool is the insanity slider will add from a gentle breeze to a hurricane wind. To these poor delay taps up there in the wind. So it's complete insanity. Look at them, they're like, ah, hang on, oh my gosh. And you can turn this back down and it will stop and freeze them where they are. I've asked Jayton for a uh, lock. So we'll have an update at some point where you can get back to where you started. Because for me, when you're working in a song, you want it set up one way and then you 
you know, take it out for that really transition. You want to come back to where you started from. You can't get back to where you started, unfortunately, unless you hit the restore revert button. Now, a couple other tips to show you real quick, and then we're out of here. Hold down shift and change any one of these parameters, like the low pass filter, and it will change them in relation to each other. It will bring them all down. Right? You can also bring up the high pass filter so that it will get thinner with each tap. Right? Which is really, really cool. There's distortion. Let's bring everybody up to weird pitches and add distortion. So all sorts of weird places. If you want to make your own, you can go, let's get this interface back under control. If you go over here to Lush and you go to Chow Default, it starts with two. Just click one and you can now change the delay time. That's the length between each of the nodes. Hold down Shift and click and you've created another node. And a list will show here of all the parameters. If you click on this and click another one, it will add another node. If you go back to number three and click on it, and now click, you're adding parallel delays based on number three. It's gonna send them from three out to these four other nodes. And if I pan this to the left, and if I go over here and I do a similar thing where I go one, two, three, four. So now I have two four tap delays. If we wanted to, we could bring up the delay modulation, hold down shift, change all the modulations to late. Oh, about oh, somewhere in the forties is good. And like maybe 30% and see them bouncing up and down. And then if it doesn't work quite right, slow it down less amount. and just get beautiful, unbelievable, lush. Super fun. And then we have the ability inside of here to go to the, the Chow matrix, go to operations, save plugin states. You can save your own plugin setups so that you can call those back. So if I go to load, I think I have one here for Chow matrix. Um, this is just set up like this so that it has eight, delays this i don't think we included this but it's really easy to set up um i might make a set of presets to get to you guys at some point it's more for you guys to use the uh, there's actually one in here called rhythmic which will give you so make sure you click here to play with the different parameters and spin insanity and you know all bets are off we'll see you in a couple days all right so there's so much to this. I want to point out in closing, we have an owner's manual that has information to all this stuff. It's pluginguru.net slash unify slash manual. You can get to this document anytime under the question mark, uh, unify manual. Click that and it will open up and now you can search for everything down here. We're actually going to probably move it to the live performance is right here is the MIDI controller files. This is talking about what I was doing with those live solo, the commands that are used, the MIDI CCs that you can set up, how it works, um, all the instructions and details. There's files you can download from there to set up. Unify is out, 1.4. We are really, really, really excited with what we've got to work with. Lots of support videos will be coming, so enjoy. Thank you for your support. If this is your first entrance into Unify. Welcome. You're about to have your mind seriously blown up in some really cool ways. You'll be enjoying plugins you forgot you had. You'll be doing things with plugins that they weren't able to do by themselves that Unify helps you do. Uh, it's wonderful. We're, we're thrilled where we are. So enjoy. Thank you for your support. See you soon.